Hi, Kevin Martin here, your UT admissions guy, uh, joining you today from Dallas, Texas. In the previous videos, I have provided specific tips, advice, um, and any eligibility concerns for the Macomb School of Business and Computer Science and the College of Natural Sciences. In this video, I provided advice and tips for transferring into the Cockrell School of Engineering. So like with other majors, there are prerequisites and um, eligibility, so you need at least 24 hours completed or in progress and a minimum 3.0 GPA. Um, engineering only makes only uh, accepts students for the fall semester, so that's fall 2019, fall 2020. They want to see that you for sure have um, the first semester, the first year of calculus completed, hopefully earning A's. They also want to see the first year of physics for engineering or STEM students, um, in addition to um, at least a few other STEM courses. So really the more STEM the better, especially if you're applying to like chemical engineering, they want to see that you've taken chemistry for majors or kind of biomedical engineering likewise with um, biology for majors. Um, so the more STEM the better. They'll be looking both at your overall GPA and that um, STEM GPA. So my recommendation is um, to have a 3.75 GPA or higher. Um, that's just kind of a minimum. It's pretty rare for students below that cutoff um, to get in to engineering. And there's also a lot of students who have a 4.0 with relevant experience and um, a 4.0 STEM GPA um, who are not gaining admission to the Cockrell School of Engineering. Unlike all the other majors at UT Austin, uh, Cockrell admits students based on their choice of major. So that means they're comparing um, transfer applicants for chemical against other transfer applicants who are also seeking admission for chemical. Um, the, the application pools for um, UT students doing a major change or internal transfer is separate from an external, um, but because they do make decisions based on your major, um, it's important to select two different engineering disciplines for your first and second choice major. Unlike with all the other programs, in some rare instances, if you're not offered first choice, um, they will look at you for your second choice. Um, and I even had a client, I think one year ago, who got into her second choice of civil engineering after not getting into their first choice of chemical. So um, it's definitely important to put first and second choice something with, um, you know, for, for engineering. It's also critical that you identify specific reasons why UT Austin and the Cockrell School of Engineering, um, because each of the engineering disciplines has their own research labs, student organizations, and specific reasons um, and differences between them. It's really important that you discuss not just why UT or Cockerel generally, but also specifically why aerospace, chemical, petroleum. Um, and especially if you're at a four-year university, you need to identify reasons um, and resources that UT Austin has that your current institution doesn't and how a UT education can help you achieve your future goals. You might want to also touch on how you bring a unique or diverse perspective to campus. Um, one reason why um, universities across the country admit transfer students is because they often bring different perspectives to the table. They're non-traditional students, they're veterans, mid-career professionals. Um, there's a lot of um, international students that come through the transfer process as well. Um, so discuss what perspectives you might bring to student organizations um, or classroom discussions. That SAAE and the resume are also super important for engineering. Um, you want to highlight and identify STEM specific experiences, you know, talk about those things first in your resume, for example, um, and really um, make a strong argument why you're deserving a space in your first choice major. Because admission to the Cockrell School of Engineering is highly competitive, I also uh, recommend a few alternatives that you might want to consider. Um, there's science and technology and supply chain management in the Macomb School of Business. Uh, Macomb's right is super competitive. I talk about that in another video. Um, but sometimes students who are inclined towards math, science, and physics uh, might also want some of these more hybrid degrees that are a combination of engineering and business um, that are offered in Macomb's. Um, likewise, there's a lot of students nowadays, especially with climate change, who are wanting to study um, environmental engineering, green technology. Um, but you might also want to consider environmental science in the College of Liberal Arts, College of Natural Sciences, or the Jackson School of Geosciences. The Jackson School also has a lot of great programs. I think it's one of the best um, and, and least um, known um, resources programs at the university. There's not that many Jackson Geosciences applicants, and, and they, I think that they're, they're a super resource-rich program, and they're one of the best of its kind in the world. So you might want to also consider geological sciences or geosystems engineering. Um, particularly if you're applying for um, chemical engineering or petroleum within the Cockrell School. Um, you might also want to consider urban, or, uh, consider urban studies or geography in the College of Liberal Arts. Um, these are bachelors of science degrees, um, so they do have that STEM component. Um, so especially if you're interested in civil engineering or petroleum, um, geography urban studies might be a nice option for you as well, especially if your GPA is um, you know, at a 3.75 or less. 
There's also a number of majors in the College of Natural Science that might interest you, especially for those um, prospective aerospace engineers. You might like astronomy uh, applied math, which is kind of like a statistics type of degree. There's also computational physics. So if you're looking at you know sending things into space, uh, look at computational. And there's also just a space sciences degree specialization within um, natural science physics. So um, there's a number of different degree programs that are out there. Um, so it's important to start your application early and make an informed decision on um, why you're choosing your first choice major, whether it's engineering or something in another college or school. So that's all I have for you today about advice for transferring into the Cockrell School of Engineering. Be sure to check out my blog at techsubmissions.com. You can also reach out to me directly, kevin at techsubmissions.com. And you can look in the information section of this video to complete my questionnaire for a free um, transfer admissions cons consultation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks and have a great day.